Pick Hank. I want Hank. Did you interview him yet? All right, Hank, come here. All right, this is Hank Uloff. Let's hear it for Hank. Own him. So, guys, I, I have to tell you, my, my family's uh, blessed enough to have the network, and, and obviously I work for my wife. But Ed Vanderly here is really the one that runs the network. Yeah, I, I never talk to Dave. I just do my best this to take the buddy. credit for all of his work, but he's the one that runs the network, so. Okay, Yeah, hey. Ed is, Dave's the head, but Ed is the neck that turns the head. Yes. That's what my wife tells me. I'm the head and she's the neck that turns me or something like that. Yeah, Ed's, Ed's the man that does it all, so let's give credit where credit Absolutely. is due. I, I just try to take his credit, that's all. <laughs> Do we, do we get to run the opening of the show? No. No. Oh, okay. Just, <laughs> thought I'd ask. And you can ask anything you want, and I just want to show people, like, just on, like, without any prep at all, just, like, how easy it is to interview somebody. Cool. Welcome, Welcome back. We are on the marketing checklist. This is Hank Uloff. We have Ed as our engineer. How are you doing, Ed? I'm doing great, Hank. How are you doing today, buddy? Incredible. Thanks for being here. Hey, we have a special guest today. We have the, the owner and the originator of Star Worldwide, Dave Pratt. How are you, Dave? I'm doing great, Hank. Hey, can you tell me where did the idea for the whole internet radio boom and sensation that you are leading come from? Oh, well, thanks for asking. You know, I'm an old school, traditional radio guy. I was in AM, FM radio for over 30 years. And about five years ago, when the economy really took a spill, traditional radio started having its struggles as well. AM, FM radio has lost 52% of its revenue in the past five years. And usually that's due to new technology. That's the space we wanted to be in. So we started an internet radio network out of Scottsdale, Arizona. And now the curve is starting to come our way. So we're very happy. This is the future. That makes you very different than most morning DJs that you saw the future coming up. Yeah, I still have a lot of respect for everybody in radio, but now to supply others with the opportunity that I had in my career is, is very rewarding. Do you still run a show on the, on the network? I do. I have a show on the network just to show how people, uh, you know, shouldn't do a show. Uh, <laughs> but uh, my, my, my biggest joy in life is coming with uh, consulting other shows and helping them. I've, I've, I asked that because obviously I knew you do have a show. It's an amazing one. Um, how do you come up with your, your show outline? I watch what's topical in the news and I try to play off it. And then I try to keep it centered to Arizona because that still is the majority of my audience. But I try to branch that out to the world as well because we know that we're lucky to have listeners everywhere. Do you think that it, it helps you to have a sidekick going through the show with you? At times, uh, through my whole career, I've had a lot of members on the morning show, but sometimes it can get in the way. I would rather talk to the audience than somebody else. So many times you listen to morning show and you hear them talk to each other and the listener feels excluded. I would rather talk to the listener. Mm. Awesome. We're, we're talking to Dave, Dave Pratt, the originator. I, I just took that note. Nice. <laughs> That's the rejoiner right I there. I just took that note. Awesome. That's great. <laughs> Here's for Hank. We're, we're talking to Dave Pratt, the, the originator of StarWorldwide.com, who has... How many, shows, how many shows do you have on the network now? Well, because of the Rockstar Boot Camp and Gary today, we have 151 on the network. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> so you're at, you're, you're at... I guess we should be taking shots, because it's 151. <laughs> I like that, Hank. Very clever. Um, here's the last question that I have for you. Why haven't you been on the marketing checklist before? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lon. Let's, Let's hear it. Thank you, Lon. All right, I'll do another, another one. 